welcome to another episode of the Crafty Challenge. I'm Tyrona, and I hope everyone is having an amazing day. On this episode of the Crafty Challenge, I will be showing you how to create your very own digital paper using Canva. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click below to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of our Crafty family. To everyone that subscribed, thank you for joining the family. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, um, Canva has a paid version and a free version, and I will be working with the uh, paid version of Canva. Okay. All right. Now, to start, we're going to create a 12 by 12 blank canvas. Now I found it easiest, um, the easiest way to create a digital paper is to use uh, one of the grid templates that Canva already has created. So depending on the size of the image you will be using, you may have to search through to locate the perfect size for your image. Okay, so we're gonna go to elements and we're gonna scroll down until we find grids, select all, Okay, and I normally start at the bottom because it gives me more options down at the bottom. So I wanna scroll down to I get to the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna use this four by four um, grid right here, um, which basically you can add four images in the inside of it and create your um, your your digital paper. I pull these in because as you can see, they're not completely centered. Well, it's centered, but it's not um, matching up with the 12 by 12. It's a little over the 12 by 12. So I normally pull mine back in. All right, so we're gonna go back to the uploads. And I'm just gonna sift through here to find images that I like. And we're going to we're going to use a red theme on these images. So you're just going to just drop your images down in the inside of um, your grid. Okay, so I'm just looking for some more red images that I have. Okay. I want to add some color to this. Let's see what I have down here that I can just drop in here. Okay, so we have some plants. We're going to go ahead and drop some plants down in here. Okay, I think I want to use this. Dream big. Okay. So I kind of like that. So what you do is after you've gotten them all in there, you want to just shrink them. I want to shrink mine down to a four by four. So there's my four. Duplicate that. Sit it next to it. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time. So I'm going to copy all of those and duplicate them again, drop those down below, duplicate again, and then drop those down below that as well. Okay. So that is how you can create um, one of your digital papers. I kind of like to add backgrounds in some of my images. So we're going to go ahead and go to backgrounds. 
if you have a particular background um, already loaded or you have a particular background that you like, um, by all means, you know, go ahead and upload and use those. But I'm going to go ahead and use some of the ones that are already here. All right. So we have this grid. I'm going to use that grid for that one. And as you can see, there's the grid right there for that. So we're going to duplicate this one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make this one a little bigger. So let's see. If you want to make it bigger, you know, you can just take away some of these. I'm going to make it a six by six. So that made it a six by six. So you have the four by four um, grids, and then you have a six by six. Let's see. All right. Let's do another four by four. I'm gonna go up, go to elements, go back to grids. There's my four by four, drop that in there. this back down to size. Okay. And then we're going to go back to our uploads. And let's see. We're going to use, since we're already down here, let's go ahead and try to grab some things from here. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're just going to use our red accessories. And again, you just drop these wherever you want, wherever you want. There's no particular way of doing it, just whatever you like. So there's that one. And once again, we're going to go ahead and shrink it. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to leave this as a six by six. We're going to add a background to it, though. color that it is or you can change it up to a lighter color okay so we're going to leave that like that we're going to copy it duplicate it and sit it right beside it duplicate both of those and sit those right beside them all right, and there you have another set of um, digital papers. We're going to do one more. Okay. Let's see. We're going to change up 
Let's see, what else? Well, they had a three by three here. I didn't pay that no attention. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our uploads. And once again, we're just going to just add your images whatever way you want. Whatever way you want to add your images, just add them in. click it'll allow you to move it up and down within its frame so we're just going to double click and if you click anywhere off of it it'll um, lock it in so. looking for my red images again my accessories okay okay shrink it back into place And we're going to do these like a five by five. So we're going to shrink them until they get into the five by five frame. Okay, there's a five by five. All right. And I think I want to change the background on this one. So we're going to go back to backgrounds. And let's see. What they are. Those are large. this one. So we're just going to angle it however you want, whatever degree you want. You want to go ahead and angle it. We're going to duplicate it and we're going to sit it right beside it. We're going to duplicate it again. Sit it right beside it. All right, we're going to highlight it and we're going to pull it over a little bit. You want to duplicate those and you're going to drop those right below that. Wherever you want, just drop it in wherever you want. And we're going to duplicate it again. Okay. I'm going to move this one right here over a little bit more. 
I can get it do right. Okay, there we go. We'll bring this over just a little bit more. As you can see, there's a large gap right here. So I'm going to move this up. All right. So there you have it. There's another digital paper. And you can see the different ones that you've created. All of them looking lovely. large view of them all right so that wraps up this episode of the crafty challenge I hope you like this video if you did please like share and subscribe until the next time, have a blessed day.